Interconnects Year in Review. 2023 was published on December 27th, 2023. The core themes of ML in the blog this year, what changes in 2024. We're wrapping up the first year of the LLM era and the first year of Interconnects. Like I had to embrace deep learning when starting my PhD in 2017, albeit slightly late. This was the year many of us embraced LLMs as a new tool that is here to stay. In 2023, Interconnects has grown by more than 10x in subscribers, 8K plus now, and even more in viewership, crossed 100K in a month a few times. So statistically, most of you didn't get to read all the posts. This post is a good entry point if you want to review any of the core themes of the year as you get ready for more of the same craziness in 2024. There were 55 posts this year and one interview, five of which were paid. The core topics, which I detail below, were RLHF capabilities and understanding, eight posts, open LLM ecosystem progress, seven posts, LLM techniques, six posts, model releases, five posts, moats, three posts, state of ML industry, three posts, and preference reward models, two posts, other AI topics, the remainder, this post is a great tool for those looking to go deeper. Before we get there, I'll take my moment to say thank you for the outpouring of support I've gotten this year. It makes this project much easier to sustain. If you want, please take a moment to provide any feedback. What should I cover more? Are my posts too long? Should I highlight or remove the newsletter part? Should I do more interviews? Brief 24 predictions. Unfortunately, some of the things I wanted to see this year for OpenML were never released or disclosed. Regardless, 2024 is going to look pretty similar to 2023 operationally. With the X factor of the election, makes regulation unlikely and polarized. Plus, it can enable drastic swings in public perception. Some key points. The lack of high quality and large scale instruction and preference data sets and strong reward models has limited the capabilities of open fine tuning, whether or not people want to accept it. The derailing of the race to reproduce ChatGPT coincided with the ignorance of the open AI terms of service. This wasn't proudly announced, but most builders no longer are directly setting their sights on ChatGPT equality, which is good. We're in the proliferation phase. The surprise of models like Alpaca and Vicuna no longer is the same. It's an expectation to get models every week, and that'll continue in 2024 until the companies need to focus on raising real money. This is great. 2024 will truly have no one dominant open LLM creator, and momentum here will synergize with local devices rather than scaling laws, e.g. what Apple builds. The impact of academia and scientists is still underperforming relative to their potential. I hope the right outlets come around so scientists can drive the narrative in ways other than popular media and influencers misconstruing their papers. I expect to cover these articles at length. The first article of the year will likely be something like why the open source GPT-4 will be worse than GPT-4 POS or something about moats. Top posts of the year. The weighting of total views definitely skews late in the year with an exponential growth in audience. But here we are, one, behind the curtain. What it feels like to work in AI right now, April 2023, covers the on-the-ground vibes of working in ML, i.e. chaos and stress. Two, the Q hypothesis. Tree of thoughts reasoning, process reward models, and supercharging synthetic data covers a literature-based hypothesis on what OpenAI's Q likely is. Three, the AI research job market shit show, and my experience, covers how research talent is spreading through the industry. Four, Llama 2, an incredible open LLM and follow-up, cover the important pieces of Meta's Llama release. Five, how RLHF actually works covers the core intuitions behind RLHF. Six, synthetic data, Anthropics CAI, from fine-tuning to pre-training, OpenAI's super alignment, tips, types, and open examples covers the technique, driving many advances in the academic and open ML spheres. 
Before getting to the rest of the posts, 2023 was also the year that Tom Gilbert and I launched the Retort podcast. I think it's a great compliment to my writing by getting into the biggest issues facing the field. We don't shy away from revisiting hard questions. Check it out. Trends. Ranking trends based on how many articles I wrote on the topic. RLHF capabilities and understanding. We've made a lot of progress in understanding what reinforcement learning from human feedback is doing at a high level, and how so, but we're still pretty far away from implementing that in the open. It was a lot of fun to essentially journal my progress in understanding RLHF live on the blog. 1 February 27. The RLHF Battle Lines Are Drawn covers the importance of RLHF to the LLM ecosystem, the costs of building it, and where the year will take us. 2. APR. 26. Beyond human data, RLAAF needs a rebrand covers a new way of thinking about general RL, fine-tuning of LM's RL from computational feedback, RLCF. RLAF is a variant of this. 3. Jun 21. How RLHF actually works. Covers the high-level intuition about what RLHF changes in model behavior. Safety, formatting, reasoning, and more subtle things. 4. Aogi. 2. Specifying objectives in RLHF covers the proxy, objective problem in RLHF and why the new method, direct preference optimization, DPO, may not be the final solution. 5. OCT. 18. Undoing. RLHF and the brittleness of safe LLMs covers why RLHF safety filters are not resistant during further training and how this shifts the LLM marketplace. 6. Oaked 25. RLHF lit. Review number one and missing pieces in RLHF covers recent papers and core themes of RL research not yet touched by RLHF. 7. Nova 22. RLHF progress. Scaling DPO to 70B. DPO versus PPO update. Tulu. 2. Zephyrb. Meaningful evaluation. Data contamination. Covers empirical progress in RLHF in the second half of 2024. 8. Decal 6. Do we need RL for RLHF? Covers all things DPO and what it means for RLHF in the future. Open LLM ecosystem progress. 2023's biggest theme of LLMs was one around open versus closed models. This goes to show that the best models from OpenAI et al. are really not breaking through into crazy value markets, and that the safety risks of LLMs have not yet materialized. 1. May 31, Evaluating and Uncovering Open LLMs, covers the right ways to search for open LLMs and decide on which to use. 2. Junber Call 7. Open source LLMs harmlessness gap covers the risks posed by and cultural values guiding open ML's lack of interest in safety filters. 3. Jun. 14. Different development paths of LLMs covers how the development of open LLMs like Llama and Mistral will differ from their closed counterparts. 4. Jewel. 26. If it's not fully closed ML, it's open. Is it? Covers what it means for an LLM to be truly open source. 5. September 13. In defense of the open LLM leaderboard covers the positive signal that evaluation leaderboards are bringing to the open ML economy. 6. OCT. 4. Open, general purpose LLM companies might not be viable covers why open source LLMs need a niche to survive. 7. Novinchar 1, Open LLM Company Playbook covers what I would do if I were an open-leaning LLM starting. LLM Techniques pieces. Of course, I'll be writing about my LLM ideas. Um, how else will I pay the bills? This section is about pushing the limits of the discourse. 1. Augusty 9 LLM Products Measurement and Manipulation covers how companies will have a hard time measuring changes in products without A-B testing and how LLM products may manipulate users. 2. Jewel 12 LLM Agents and Integration Dead Ends and Follow-Up Covers Why I'm Bearish on Most of the LLM Agent Startups. This has aged well, as most of them have narrowed their targets. 3. Octi 6 LLMs are computing platforms covers the idea that LMs will be more akin to something like AWS and computers than a specific ML model like recommendation engines. 4. Novir 24, the Q hypothesis, tree of thoughts, reasoning, process reward models, and supercharging synthetic data covers a literature-based hypothesis on what OpenAI's Q likely is. 5. Nov 29, synthetic data, Anthropics CAI, from fine-tuning to pre-training, OpenAI's super alignment 
tips, types, and open examples covers the technique driving many advances in the academic and open ML spheres. 6. Dexy. 13. Big Tech's LLM evals are just marketing covers how 2023 was the last year to trust evaluation numbers chat with the model or bust model releases. I am surprised I didn't do more of these. More model release posts in 2024. 1. Mardor 20 GPT-4. The quiet parts and the state of ML covers the quiet trends of GPT-4 before everything about it was leaked. 2. Llama 2. An incredible open LLM covers the important pieces of Meta's Llama release. 3. Llama 2. Follow-up covers the controversy. License. And too much R R L H F N S. 4. Dexacromai 11. Mixtral. The best open model. Moe trade-offs. Release lessons. Mistral raises 400 Mieler mil. Google's loss. Vibes versus marketing covers the latest state-of-the-art open model and compute trade-offs with different architectures. 5. Decord. 20th state space. LLMs. Do we need attention? Mamba and Striped Hyena covers what the strengths and weaknesses of the transformer architecture. I also interviewed Tri Dao and Michael Pauly of Together on this topic. Moats. My favorite topic because so many other people seem to not get it. 1. Deck 20 2022. Predicting machine learning moats covers why models are not moats. 2. May 17. OpenAI and Google have moats covers why user data and habits are the strongest moats. 3. SEP 27 doll E3. And multimodality as moats. Correcting bad moat takes covers by multimodality, maybe a strong engine for lock-in, and the need for user data. State of ML opinion pieces. Another thing I should probably write more of. These pieces are inherently more general audience than my average post. 1. A purse of 5. Behind the curtain. What it feels like to work in AI right now covers the on-the-ground vibes of working in ML, i.e. chaos and stress. 2. OCT 11. The AI research job market shit show, and my experience, covers how research talent is spreading through the industry. 3. Novar 19. Open AI's shakeup and opportunity for the rest of us, openness, brain drain, and new realities covers why open AI slowing down is an opportune time to make the case for openness and not the time to dunk on corporate chaos. Understanding reward preference models. Expect more of this in 2024 as it's core to a research project I'm leading on Mardar 27. The implicit dynamics of optimizing costs versus rewards versus preferences covers some of the history behind different optimization framings. Two, WA A Pro 12. Growing needs for accessing state of thought reward models covers how reward models are the secret engines behind RLHF. Wrap up. I'm kind of in awe of the response I've gotten this year, including from Chris Manning, C Figure. Some of my inspirations in the newsletter business have started to subscribe to Interconnects, so we're making it into the big leagues. In the next year, you can expect mostly more of the same unless the space for articles like this gets more competitive. Keep sending me papers and models to cover. A growing percentage of the newsletter section is from avid readers and friends, building the future of ML. To wrap up, I'm sharing the methods of interconnects that I posted on socials. I regularly get asked, how do you have the time for writing interconnects.ai? And people don't realize I do all sorts of janky stuff, like writing on my phone on BART or laptop in Ubers because I feel strongly that the science of LLMs needs to be open. What's the border between a hustle and a passion? Some random facts on the process. Writing is a primary place where I learn. Subscriptions pay for my DoorDash when writing takes my time to cook. Posts where I'm an expert already can take as little as three hours to write, but distribution is another hour plus. Posts where I'm new, like the SSM post interview this week, can easily take 10 plus hours. I choose the companies I work at to be those that see value in it explicitly. Otherwise, I wouldn't work there. I spent years writing pretty awful stuff to learn how to write more clearly. I don't know what made it click, except practice. I do very little editing or outlining. No time for that, so I appreciate typo messages, notes. Happy New Year! Thank you for listening, and have a great day.